Hello, everyone, and welcome to Super Show 5. We are super excited to be here tonight. Man, this is going to be awesome. We have an amazing amount of matches tonight, and I tell you, we can't wait. Oh, no, we certainly cannot wait. So, let's get to it. First match of the night is going to be a tag team match. I'm excited. It is going to be No Way Out taking on Breeface, taking on Drunk Tank, taking on the Misfits. Pelucci, who's your pick for this one? I'm going to go with Drunk Tank. Drunk Tank, okay. I'm actually going to I'm going to go with the with the uh, the obvious pick. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, out on a limb and say I I think the Misfits are going to win. Um that's just because well I need a win. I mean I never I never get anything right. So let me try to get this one right, right? Right? Right, right? Right. So, yeah. Um okay. That being said, cool. So we have a cool new clock right right uh, there there right next to Pelucci's head so now you'll be able to see how long until the next match starts so a uh, couple of cool yeah I always point the wrong way it is okay it's, it's that way that way okay uh, we we also want you guys to post up your picks in the comments because getting your picks right means you can go home with well, you're already going to be home, but we'll we'll come and knock on your door and give you a t-shirt. Come and knock on my door. What's well, fuck, what show is that, dude? Do you, do you remember? Come and knock on my door. Da -da 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 -da. It's, uh, uh, neighbors. Um, oh, um, um, ah. Casual partners. Mm, something oh, like that. Uh, I liked it. I okay. Liked that, so. They were neighbors in an apartment building. It was a great show. Three's Company. Was it? No, it wasn't Three's Company. Yeah, no, no, it's Three's Company. I thought it was the other one. A Enzo, Enzo Supa just confirmed oh, no. it. Post the proof, Supa. Reface making their way out. The first team to qualify for this matchup tonight. They want to rise up in the ranks, get a good spot to get to the top of the mountain, and claim a shot at the title. Title match coming up after this one. Oh, and here they are, coming out, the Young Guns. No way out was my other pair. Well, they, they might just take it. They might. I mean, they had a really impressive match against Big Vane, and they didn't, that one was not, that was definitely not a match that they took easily. And boom, I love the little trampoline jumps. You know, ever since we bought them that trampoline, they've been practicing a lot on it, but... Yeah, No Way Out is definitely a good pick, too. It's because of the youth. And here is going to be your pick, sir. Making their debut. That's right, from the, oh yeah, from the Netherlands, coming in for CRW Super Show 5 tonight, the two of the infamous four, ready to bring on their swift hammer of justice into CRW. Pelucci, did you keep the tracking number that we had for them so we don't lose them so we can ship them back when when they're done? I totally missed like that. 
Oh, shit. I don't have good memory for that shit. That's okay. Ray and Pim coming out 6 5 and 6 2. Oh, and here they are by popular demand. Woo! Here they are, Danzig and Doyle, the Misfits. I mean, of course it's the bandwagon option to just choose them. But I don't... Well, they have wrestling experience. They do. And also Doyle's and built... that vegan muscle going for him. Yep. I mean, I'd be scared to be to be in a ring with them. So, what was your Halloween costume, sir? I was on the beach, Michelangelo. Oh. How about you? Uh, I uh, I dressed up I'm as. Not Michelangelo is called. Sorry. I'm trying to remember what the action figure was called, and I believe it was actually Surf Up Michelangelo. Oh, with the Hawaiian shirt and the hat. Yeah, I think it was. And we're off. Okay. So what were you? Uh, I dressed up as an employed person. Oh. Yeah, the scary thought. Okay, drunk what tank. Does that look like? Um, just a lot, a lot less Cheeto dust on myself. And off the, today. off the top rope, Danzig slams Austin into the center of that CRW Super Show ring. Big slam onto Mark on the outside. Oh, pin attempt right away. Not going to happen. Now, for those of you watching this for the first time, this is a tag team mosh pit match. What does that mean? Well, both competitors need to be eliminated in order for the team to be eliminated. Pinfall submission anywhere in the arena. All weapons goes. All anything goes, really. So, Get the candy that you uh, filtered out from the kids last night. Austin's going to go for a submission. A half crab. Doe comes in. Nope. Doesn't need to. He's going to go back onto Ray. Oh, we've got Skin Top versus Tank Top. Going out real hard, getting some kicks in. I can't quite make out who's who. Well, right now, Aaron's on the top rope while Ray is punching the crap out of Brandon on the inside. Oh! Takes out the referee Thank and Bren. <laughs> yeah. No one there to count. Oh, wait. Austin's got a bat. Oh, wait. Now Danzig's got the bat. Oh, right to the mouth and to the chest. All right. I'm going to crack this now. Oh yeah, refreshing. What a slam by Danzig on a pin onto Mark. Oh, kicks out. Yeah, another pin outside there. Looks like Doyle, but not even anything. Nope. So he pummels him in the face a little bit more. And utters some death threats. And so it's up. Oh. Pin to the face. Oh, Brandon. Brandon could have been pinned on the inside right there. There is action going on everywhere. Danzig's got a chair in his hand. Right. 
Oh, missed with the chair shot, but does not miss the abdomen that time. Oh, look at Doyle with that triple power bomb. Wow. Setting up again. Oh, in the far distance, Mark throws Austin to the middle, but Doyle hits him with an F5 face first onto that metal ramp. Whoa, first one's out. First one is gone, it's Ray. Ray with the big, pick. yeah. Well, you still got half of your team in there, so who knows. Mm -hmm. Shit! Okay, there's the other half right now. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunately, Drunk Tank put in a marvelous effort, but they are the first team to be eliminated. We have no way out. We have the Briefface and the Misfits left in this first matchup of the night. Thank you again for filing in and watching this tonight. To this afternoon. Or this morning if you're in Australia. I did jinx them. I did, Enzo. I'll admit that. Oh, Aaron with the pin on Austin, but eats a chair to the face. Does that mean my, my second pick's going to be gone too? Well, Brandon's still in there. Mark hit Doyle with a vicious choke slam to the knee. Reversal. We're down to five in here. The guys seem to be uh, teaming up right now on the on the, on the legends. They they really want to try to make sure they have a fair shot. Is that what it was? It kind of looked like a circle jerk to me. Mm -hmm. Could have been a circle jerk. One, two. Aaron right there to, to, uh, to break up that pin. That could have been devastating. Misses with oh, that springboard. Miss. Brandon coming back in for more action. Going back to Doyle? Nope. Oh, electric chair drop with a pin. Oh, so close. I thought he had him there. Where'd Danza go? He rolled out to the outside, needed a bit of a breather. Doyle's got that bat in his hand. That's not... Oh, oh. swing batter, batter. We have blood nope, drawn. No one got that reference? No, no one got it? How are these guys kicking out? Whoa! Oh, another RKO! Danzig evaded that one like a ghost. He avoided that one like the Black Plague or COVID. Oh, power bomb! I think did he nail him onto the bat? I think he may have. Brandon, a big fan of the Misfits, feels so humble to be in this match, but so many regrets right now. Locked up and sit down power bomb going in for a pin. Two, two three. Okay, so third pick, I guess, will be Briefface. <laughs> Go to sleep, Aaron hits Danzig. Oh. Eliminated. No! Danzig, first to get eliminated for the Misfits. Surprising. 
Doyle all alone right now. <laughs> if anyone can get a two on one, overcome the two on one handicap, it's probably Doyle. And I'm saying that because I just want to be right. Mark has him in a headlock. Gut busting ab. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Not really. Choke slam that backbreaker. This could be it. Aaron's got the bat for it as an insurance policy. of days and Aaron hits him twice with the bat for good measure. Two, three. There it is. Oh man, let's look at these highlights. Look at this, right onto the ramp, that triple German suplex. And then, no wait, not that, but there was a lot of fighting going on on that ramp. <laughs> oh man. I didn't see it. I did not see this coming. I, I, I'll be 100% frank with you. I've never been frank, but I'd like to be frank. I hear he's an honest guy. Um, did not expect this at all. I thought the Misfits were going to take it. I thought they were going to clear up tonight. So, all right, cool. Um, yeah. I loved the weapons. Honestly, I know that we have a lot more Extreme Rules matches tonight, but we saw just a glimpse of what's to come with these weapons. So I only saw a bat. Was I, there more? Did I miss them? Uh, yeah, there was a chair. So Danzig had that chair that he used to hit um, Aaron in the midsection with, but we didn't see too many weapons. We only saw a bat and a chair, so I'd like to see some more stuff. Speaking of which, we have that Kane Bridge Kumite match coming up right now. It was chosen by Frank Dukes, not Ducks, Frank Dukes, uh, who uh, won the Fatal 4-Way, choosing the stipulation for this championship match. Dead Cemetery, the champions did agree without, without hesitation. So, I'm excited to see that. Uh, the rules are fairly simple. Um, do you want to give it a whirl? or oh, I have my no. mouse on your face. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll get to it then. So, basically, uh, you're eliminated via knockout. Once you're knocked out, ref will ring the bell. You got to leave. No pin, no submission. Knockout can occur anywhere. There's no disqualification, so that means no rope break either. Uh, straight up brawl we are going to witness right now, where li literally the last team standing wins. Uh, like so a mosh pit. It's WWE meets original UFC. You got it. You got it. We're taking a page out of Bloodsport. Too, the, the heavy inspiration for Frank Dukes obviously so uh, that is coming up right now so let's go of course my pick is set it back I didn't even ask I'm actually Second gonna pick would be Death Cemetery. Okay, I'm actually gonna go with the yeah, Death Cemetery. The demons scare me. <laughs> and here they are, the team that chose the stipulation. Quack, quack, quack. Let's see if Frank pulls out the uh, the big old flying V tonight.
knockout, no pin. That is correct, sir. It's going to be straight up knocked out. The referee will call the knockout using his better judgment. And also, if the guy looks knocked out, well, he's going to call it. So, yeah. Uh, so, knockout, no pin. Uh, the Big Bafana does have that Big Bafana bomb, which I want to see from the top rope. He attempted it last time in the fatal four-way, but got the knees to the midsection. Joel is here. He also has that even flow DDT, which will decimate. So this is going to be, yes, that, that's exactly it. This is going to be dirty as hell. Now, you would think that, um, Pelucci, you think that they would be very nervous. This is their second match in CRW already with a title opportunity. Some would say it's luck, but some would also say it's skill. Which way of the spectrum do you lean? Uh, I, uh, luck. I'm leaning towards luck. They're highly trained, but I think they got lucky with their placements. Yeah, definitely. I think they did get lucky by winning that match uh, to choose a stipulation that would go into their favor. But here are your boys coming out right now. Not the first time that we've seen set it back in a title match for these tag team titles. They faced the music before, came up short, but I mean, there's a reason why you pick them every time, Pellucci. It's not just because they're your homeboys and because, you know, they're your brothers. It's, it's, they have the skills necessary to take the titles, I, I believe. They do, they do. They work good as a team. So quiet. I know. Cricket, Everyone's cricket. 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 Ah, there we go. The things that nightmares are made of. They scare me. They just scare me. They do. I can't ever pick them because if they win, I don't want them visiting me. And scaring me if you more. if you pick them they will claim your soul that's the problem I can't do that no I mean I can't afford I soul I can't long time ago. so God knows what they take and here they come marching to the ring right now You know, they, they use the theatrics to get into the minds of their opponents. And they already have a ruthless aggression in a no DQ match like this. Kind of scared to see what's going to come out. All right. And now we make way the fourth and final team to come into this matchup tonight successfully defended for the past two months here they are the champions Death cemetery they look different maybe they got some suntan <laughs> Just waiting and laughing. 
Going into a Fatal 4-Way matchup like this, regardless what the rules are, you know they're at a disadvantage. They are going to be targeted first. If their opponents could get rid of the champions, then they know that we all know that there's going to be a new title holder tonight. And that just puts a huge target right on their back. And we're off! Mike and Davey starting off strong! Look at that new jersey. Dude. I love the jersey style set it back shirt. Very cool! Right up for sale? It should be! Hint, hint! I, I would totally buy a soccer jersey set it back soccer jersey I missed my first set it back shirt some, some jackass in Moncton stole it from me was it the red one yeah yeah the first one with the TVs oh Eddie misses that I, I don't know what he was trying to do but he missed and fell flat on, right on his um, coccyx is that the bone I'm thinking of the one right on your ass no tailbone or whatever, bro. Cox. I no, said no, Coxes. No, I'm thinking of docking. No. Very curious to see how the first elimination will occur. Big Bafana taking. I think it's either a knee. Or an elbow. Oh, right now Close that fist face. to that tilt a world DDT outside. Davey's got Dave. Duh, Dave with the slam. How funny would that be if all the last three competitors were all Dave's? <laughs> oh, hi, you can punch there by, uh, by Mike down in the corner. Mike going after Eddie right away. Wants to target the champion. Dave, Davey seems to have the same strategy in mind going after Davey Knight on the inside. Seems like the Dukes and Frank Dukes. These are the Daves I know. <laughs> oh, David, big miss there. Oh, Joel is going up on top. Elbow drop to the chest of Carlos. That's okay, Enzo. You don't have to type properly today. Today's super show. No one has to type properly. Oh no! Dominator! Onto Joel! Still in it, it is though! Also Halloween Hangover Day. It is. Definitely want to do this today instead of yesterday. Hope everyone had a great Halloween. Power slam onto Joel. He's still in it though. Hanging on. The Davies are outside. Eddie's got Mike in the corner. Oh, he's going up on top with him. Jumped right over. Oh, wow. That hurts. Bafana going up on top now. Could we see it? Oh. Anyone else out there have a big party or was I the only irresponsible one? <laughs> yeah, but you guys are not red zoned. 
No, not at all. Yeah, so. Uh, like last week we had four cases. And then a play came in from Toronto and that gave us. Eddie just flipped Samoan draw. Oh, he's gonna. All right, Rob's well, kind of in the game, but don't he needs to watch out. Yeah, yeah. At least he doesn't have to count anyone this time. Right onto the edge of the ring, Davy Knight eats it hard. Wait a second, has anyone even been eliminated in this matchup yet? No, no. Which I don't understand because someone looks awfully knocked out there. Oh, I know he's Just getting up now. Yeah. Well, what's the time limit for being knocked out? Come on now. It's the re judge, uh, re referee's decision. He's calling oh, it. See, that's where the ref's going to make some mistakes here today, I think. Oh! Oh! Pile driver and a... This is just a fight. This is just a brawl. I agree. Eddie, oh, misses in the corner. Face plant. Eddie was knocked out with that hit. Eddie's out. Oh, so one person sits there for 20 seconds. They're still, I call favorites. Eddie, I'm on your side with this. Big Samoan drop. Carlos has, oh, Mike, he had Mike in for that power slam, and Mike is out, oh. Davey's out, D Dave of the Screaming Demons is out, is one, two, three, we've got five, big Bifana bomb off the top. Frank Duke's the only ones still in it as a full team right now. Davey working his magic on the outside. That knee could have been taken out completely. Chair in hand hits Davy on the top corner. Now we're seeing more and more oh, weapons out. Hit there. Davy Knight still in it, still has a chance to retain the titles. Tossing Knight out. Oh, Joel gets it. Buffon didn't see it behind him, but Joel got eliminated and now he misses that big Buffon. Oh. oh, wow. And then there was four.
This is still anyone's match right now. Davy said no. Two neck breakers inside and out. Two eliminations for Joel Ducks. Dukes, I apologize. It's, you know, yeah. send off the Ducks. No, I told you already. Every time you, you lose a match, I'm going to call you a Duck. Carlos is lining up Davey on the inside. Power slam? This could this took out Mike. No, he's still in it. Pelucci, I heard that uh, set it back said they were gonna buy everyone a drink at the at the bar. Oh yeah, oh, if, yeah. if if they win. Installed one of those bells like at the Legion halls and everything. Yeah, he he rings it every time he wins. Go check it out. Go get a free drink. Yep. You gotta go uh, get some uh, definitely some liquid courage. F final four of this championship match. Thank you for tuning in. Big elbow drop right to the lower spine. Oh, and a big uh, sandbag move in the back thing. I don't know what to call that, but he's going up on top again. Another splash. Davey's still holding in. And a power no. Wait. Davey Knight with the power oh. slam. I know. I thought it was I thought the same thing as you. I thought Bafana took out Kerchi. We're down to three. Carlos, scary competitor right now. Carlos and Davey teaming up on Bafana trying to weaken him. Oh, right into the announce table next to us. Did uh, did we get the insurance policy on the tables tonight? No, I think I forgot that too. Shit. All right, it's okay. Just don't. We, we got we got like a couple of spares, so let's try not to break the tables, guys. Who am I kidding? They're gonna break the tables. They're, they're gonna break the tables. Final three. Carlos talking shit right now. Going after Davy. Oh, right into the stairs. Scott going back up on top. Misses. Did he miss? I think he missed. I think he missed. Nah, uh, that's that's unfortunate. Double teaming Kirchy right now. And he seems wow. to be. S someone's bound to get double teamed. That's a smart move. Take out Carlos. He's been wrecking people. He came in like a wrecking ball. He started something, something balls. There's the baseball bat. Yeah, there it is. Swing bada bada. Oh! 
Davey kicks the bat out of his hand. Tossing him outside again. Any of these three guys right now can take it. They're, they're all gassed. Look at them. They can barely stand properly. As this match just goes on and on. Davey getting in the cheap shots here and there. When you look at the rules of this match, Bellucci, though, every, every shot is technically a cheap shot. Both going in. Oh! Oh! Why would... It was almost like teamwork. Had him up on his shoulder and Davey just like smacked him right in the head. Power slam? It's the Pellucci stamp. <laughs> Love it. That was a long time ago, folks. Fall away slam. Carlos can barely stand. Oh, big miss. Oh. Right onto the baseball bat. Davey hits him with it. Hits him again. Third time. Hits Scott Landy right on the chair. He wants this match over with. He wants that title. Russian leg sweep. Come on, boy. Setting up. This could be it for Carlos. Oh. He's out. With that pile driver, that just tore right into him. Oh, right into the stairs. That was steel stairs. Missing with the kick. Come on. We never use that one anyway. Yeah, I know, but this is only Davey, match number two. Okay. It's match number two. Uh, but it's Davy. Here we go. Here so we setting go. up. Oh, right into the table. This could be it. What's he gonna do? A pile driver? Through the table? Come on! Oh my god! And Davey takes this! Listen to the crowd yelling, this is awesome! I cannot agree more. Let's look at all the biggest hits of the night. Wow. And with that, I need to go change my shirt. I need new shorts. Yeah. It finally happened. Colucci, are you are you excited? Let's let's get back to the ring here for a second with their belts. Look at them. They're so excited. They missed them. They're very glad to have them back. Congratulations, set it back. You've climbed the top of the mountain, and now the biggest yeah, challenge. Go get your free drinks. Yeah, go get your free drinks at the bar. Um, yeah, we got a bit of time until the next match starts. The next match was an open invitational match. Um, that means that anyone who wanted to sign up for it could have signed up and did sign up. Some of you didn't even know you were signing up until I signed you up myself. Did I say sign up too much? I think I did. 
So <laughs> we have an eight-person in, um, invitational mosh pit match coming up right now from all over. People coming from all over to join this match. Different styles. I can't wait for it. It's going to be awesome. So that being said, there is a small announcement to make that the next Super Show, Super Show 6, will take place on Sunday, December 20th. So it will be Sunday, December 20th, and it will be the Holiday Slambury. We're going to have more info on that on the November 10th episode of Monday Night Rock. Uh, there will be no episode tomorrow as everyone does need a break in the locker room. They are competing very hard so far tonight, so they've all requested the night off tomorrow. So we're going to give it to them. And next, the Monday after that, we are going to have some awesome tournament brackets and so on and so forth. So that being said, let's get to the eight-man mosh pit matchup right now. I gotta say, for this one here, Marina, I love you. I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm picking you. I might have just ginged you though. That first map, I ginged everyone I picked. Yeah, you you really did. Um. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna go with anyone. I'm I'm scared of jinxing as well. I don't want people to beat me up. Whoa, whoa, wait. Is your Nick fighting again? Well, yeah, Nick is fighting the. Uh, so the demons have are all fighting tonight. Yeah, Nick is in this match. Uh, Carlos and Dave were in the tag team match, and Simon. Oh, right. it was Dave. It was Dave. Yes. And Simon will be competing for the North American Championship after this, where we will oh, be... Oh, Karina using my full name. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> kind of scared now. Oh, it's because he <laughs> tagged you, that's why. Uh, <laughs> that makes more sense. I was going to pick Morgan. Look, so Morgan... will have to be my second pick, but Karina, up uh, counting on you, bro. Morgan has the power. I mean, he's got that, that clothesline. We've seen that clothesline many a time. And yep. all of his matches always came close. I mean, yeah, he took a loss, but he took a loss to Enzo, who had just came off the high of winning that North American Championship. Um, but, I mean. See, we've got, Morgan's got the power, but Farina's got the cover. Yes. Did you know uh, Morgan can uh, bench press an 8x10 base cab? <laughs> These days? Uh, every day. Actually, uh, <laughs> now I hear he does 8 8x10s. Eight oh, here he is! If you recognize that style and sass, that's because this guy, Mosquito Mike, once in a band with the fats, Rolling on the sunset drip right now. He's picked up quite a few pins in mosh pit matches. Considers himself to be the pro of CRW. Cocky swagger. Love it. So here's your pick. (laughs) 
Mr. Anthony. That energy I like to see. Oh yeah. You know, he took a loss um, to No Way Out uh, with Big Vane, but jumped at the opportunity right away to be into the in this match. He's just about wanting to compete in matches, wanting to put on an amazing show. He's got that uh, that rough rider, you know, that rough riding leg drop. Which you love quoting DMX on that one. I do. That's my new theme song when I play Warzone now. Oh, is it? Every time I hop in the car, yeah. It's set to play on the stereo in my vehicle. That's I'm nice. Skrill it. Ooh. And here he is, another drummer entering the mosh pit match tonight, so we know the endurance is definitely going to be in here. We've got Rob, Drummer Rob. Last match against the Screaming Demons, that three-on-three -three match when he delivered that perfect flex, allowing Zack to pick up the pin. Just a great demonstration of the technical wrestling that we see from Rob. You know, he's really good at grappling, really good at reversing, so people got to be, be careful. You can't tie up with him and not expect, bam, something right in your face, because you'll get it. Sporting the Hope t-shirt. I guess he hopes he wins. Get it? Ah, your favorite cuddle buddy. Yannick, the evil one. Coming out to make s'mores with us. No cuddles for him. He probably spend all night tickling you. He probably would. Yep. Oh yeah, loving the pyro. <clears throat> and now making their debut, the two debuts of CRW in this matchup tonight. We got bandmate to Tracy Lynn, who's competing for the world champion later, the world championship later. Gordzilla of the Reckoning. Interesting. Th I'm very, I'm very curious to see what uh, Gord is going to do tonight. You know, him and Tracy train together, so a lot of the attitude that we see within her, all of the brute strength and power, well, it comes from somewhere, and I'm sure it comes from the training that they do together. His attitude is definitely going to show here tonight. Excited to see what's going to come out.
And the last, the eighth person to come in tonight. From the Resignators. Steve the Black Snake. Guitar player of the Resignators. Former guitar player of Gore. Used to, uh, he was uh, Balzac the Jaws of Death until he uh, unfortunately got into a horrible, horrible plane accident. The rumor is that uh, he was bitten by a snake in the outback. That's why he has all that strength within him, that venomous strength. That's where it all comes from. It's fast and deadly. Gotta be careful. An absolute if no fucks. If you're from the down under, I guess it's early. What is it, like 4.30, 3.30 in the morning there? Wait, wait, wait. That's cheating. It's already oh, tomorrow. Wait. You can't watch it tomorrow. We're, we're, we're still doing it today. Well, technically that would be a, a delay. Well, wait. Does, does that mean if he... he was watching it yesterday? Right. I think that might be cheating. Right, right. Big Bulldog on the outside to Marshall. The Black Snake targeting the Reverend of Hardcore. Yannick has a chair in hand. Going after Farina. Pull down. Morgan eats the stairs. And Yannick is going to town on Farina with that chair. Reversal by Morgan on the ramp. Going in for a pin. Got a pin. Oh. A little too early. Yeah. Oh, Rob just tossed out by Mosquito Mike. And big sidewalk slam by Morgan onto the steel ramp. Oh! Big clothesline into the corner. Marina gets rolled in. Yeah, Nick has him. Oh, Steve goes after Yannick before he has a chance. The snake by DDT. Yannick rolling out of the ring, trying to get out of harm's way. Farina with a big clothesline to the back of Steve's neck. Going in for the pin. Two counts. Oh, Morgan just ate that medal. Going in for a pin. Seems like Rob went in for a pin too. Morgan is out. Gordon takes, Godzilla has taken out Morgan. Gotta say. Lucky with her pick and Morgan so far. Dirty deeds onto Farina in the bottom corner. One, 
two, three. Not so lucky. Not so lucky there. Mosquito the Mike marina. kicks out the of. Marina. You owe me a drink when I come see you, buddy. Had big money riding on you. They're so far up the rim. You Nick, bring it back down, buddy. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Rob hit the perfect plex. Was it the perfect plex? Misses with that drop kick. We're down to four? We're down to four. Five? Five or four? four. Five. Five. I five. can't. Sorry, I'm bad at math. Rob hits Steve with that back body drop. Thunderous slam. Absolutely thunderous. Oh, and a kick right to the head. Marshall goes up on top. Misses Yannick. Yannick with a sledgehammer in hand. I told you we were going to see more weapons. Kick out at two. Marshall is resilient. Come on, Marshall was just eliminated right now, and now we're back to four. Grave Digger! Grave Digger! Gord goes in for a pin! That's the second pin for him tonight! Oh, hitting Yannick right there in the chest in the corner. You know, Gord and Yan actually, uh, they do go back. So seeing this right now, two, no, not even a two count, pushing the stairs out of the way. Suplex by Rob. Not sure who to target right now, going after Yannick in the ring. He's going to try to hit the closest thing to him. Another suplex. Oh, Rob. Kick right to the midsection. Rolling out to take him, to compose himself. Oh, hits Yannick right into the corner with the vicious clothesline, picking him back up. Crotch, I was about to say crotch to the shot. Let's try that one again. Shot to the crotch, shot to the arm. Shot to the crotch, and you're too late. You give crotch a bad name. Around with that Gets him. <laughs> Did not him miss. Oh, submission on the outside. Half Boston Crab.
He's calling it up. He's calling it. He can feel it. He's getting ready. Perfect plex onto Gore and onto Yannick. Let's look at that one again. Oh, big punch right to the face. Gore trying to capitalize again. He's going to steal another pin. Two, three. Another pin stolen. Technically on fire with three eliminations this matchup. Could this be foreshadowing of what's to come in our women's world championship match later on? Will the reckoning actually leave with victories on all matches tonight? Rob going under the ring looking for a weapon. Seems like he was busted open on that ring apron shot. Vicious DDT right onto the mat on the outside. Even though that's a matted floor, that is concrete underneath and that hurts. Spine onto the bottom stair. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are watching a uh, an all-out war right now. Rob going back to the inside of the ring. He wants to finish this once and for all. Seems like Gord is still dazed on the outside. Coming to, oh, quickly getting back into the ring. Forearm to the head, you can see how gassed they are. Just one shot is taking them out to their knees, swinging neck breaker. Whip right into the corner. Follow up with a huge close line. That can't be good. Nope, not. Oh, he almost got a crotch to the shot there. Spun him around, trying to rip out his shoulder right from his socket. That 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 looks painful. This looks utterly painful. You ever dislocated your shoulder? No. No, Get, I have not. Neither I have I. My arm all the way up around my body though, and pull my bicep off. That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. Good, good times, good times. Yeah. Up on the rope. Is he going to go for a DDT? No. Oh, just hitting over and over again. <laughs> Jawbreaker. Could this be it? Perfect flex. Going in for a pin. One, two. Oh, big kick out. Very surprised on that one. Oh, and will he tap? Gord is so resilient. Impressive first match tonight. As well, first singles match for Rob. Big backbreaker. And that 
natural selection. Going in for a pin. One, two. Frustration is settling in. What is it going to take for him to put down his opponent? Perfect flex! Pin locked in! Oh, he did. The newcomer at that. Let's look at all the best shots of the night. That perfect flex take out Mike early on. The snake by DDT. The shot to win it. That was that was beautifully executed. But this right here, elimination of the night, flipped up and landed on his head on that metal ramp. I applaud thee. I applaud thee, sir. Wow. Good job, Rob. Good job. Well deserved. Farina, no words. No, no words. none. You did at last Morgan, though, so that's surprising. Yeah. <laughs> he outlasted Morgan, but Morgan had the... He had quite the task at hand. <laughs> Let's not, you know, a shot like that landing on your head on a metal ramp, that, that'll hurt you. All right, we have, uh, so we have a championship match, the first, the second of four championship matches coming up next. We have Via Satellite joining us to, tonight. We have Mr. Nova. So those of you who have checked out our YouTube page, you'll recognize Mr. Yo Mr. Nova as the voice with me uh, for our Road Dog Road Tour shows. And I uh, believe he's on the line right now. I think he might be. He's Hello? Mr. Mr. Nova, there you are. H how are you doing? Am I coming in right? You're coming in good? You're coming in left. All right. Good. There, There you go. All right, I'm coming in left. That's great. So, so, so I hope you guys had a happy Halloween. Oh, we did. Oh yeah. Still going. Still fucking going. Oh yeah. So we got a big championship match coming up, and uh, I don't feel like explaining it. So I made this nice little video so everyone can be caught up. Here we go. So this is a couple weeks back. A cha an open challenge. Enzo was robbed of a victory here, and we could see Nick capitalized on it, capitalized on the situation, and just totally got that title in the cheapest way possible. The week after, having Marshall attack Enzo before the rematch even took place, making him unable to compete later that night. Horrendous. I mean, oh, that's just savage. savagery at its finest. And let's not forget the six foot six Matt Smith with the controversial foot on the rope. And then in the rematch, Enzo comes out and just spears Simon, causing a DQ. Which leads us to tonight, folks a fatal four way Enzo Supa, Simon Talbot, Mike Smith, and champion Nick Brasso. Locking up. It's it's going to be... This is going to be exciting. It's going to be something. It sure will. Where are you guys in six? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Enzo. We got... We got... Jason supporting his brother Nick in the chat. Here we go. I've got a big toss up between Supa and Smith. It's a tough one. I, I, I like Superman for the win though. Matt I think is, uh, he's, he feels like he's owed something. Oh, we, but we've seen Matt compete before. We saw him in that steel cage match. Matt, you're coming to Canada anyway. <laughs> 
if that's what it's going to take, we'll, we'll get somebody in the ring. Matt's looking pumped, though. I mean, if I have to put some money down, I think it's going to have to be for, for Matt. I don't know. Uh, I he mean... Seems, uh, he seems pretty committed. seems pumped. Well, he was very impressive in that steel cage match that uh, we saw against uh, Kevin, and and that is available on YouTube, so go check that out. But, yeah, they, they absolutely caused carnage, and taking the rules out of the equation right now, I don't want to see what's going to... Simon. That's right. Simon Talbot of the Screaming Demons making his way out. Did you guys know that he is trained, actually, one of the four that's actually trained in a form of fighting, kickboxing. He has fought in championships before, so this is not new for him. Definitely one of the more seasoned competitors in this matchup. Now, Mr. Nova, this is the first time you're going to actually be calling the Demons match, isn't it? I, I guess so. This is uh, new to me, but as you still, as you is, Nick. <laughs> well, get ready, sir, because the demons have a tendency to instill fear. Here we got Nick putting his hefty belt. He's sporting it around. Next drop over there. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we're going to see someone else's face print on the inside of that belt by the end of the night. I you can easily recognize that. Easily. And I, I think I would agree with you on that. I think we are going to see... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to see some weapons. We got a new table up on the side of us, so I'm happy about that. Dental Records, thank you for liking the stream. No, not a dental office. Record label. Go check them out. You can find Destroy and a really awesome compilation. Here we go. North American Championship on the line. Everyone's got their picks. Everyone's ready for it. No, we, d we didn't hear your pick. I'm not taking a pick. Well, I'm... Ah. I'm not taking a pick. I never take a pick. Who, who's your pick, Paolucci? I'm uh, I'm going with uh, I'm going with oh, Enzo. That's my boy right here. You're going with who? Sorry, Enzo. Second place. Enzo. Okay. Matt. Matt should take it though. But I really want him to come visit me in Canada, so I'm hoping he loses. He did it to himself. Patches off to an electrifying start. The shots are flying. People are getting bruised. Matt just dishing out his anger on, uh, is that Nick? In the corner? Yeah, taking out all his aggression on, on champion Nick Brasso in the corner. You could see that Simon and Enzo going at it. By the facial hair! Tossed around the ring by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. So who's going to be the big bad wolf in this match? So far it's looking, oh, body collision. And he flips Matt out of the ring. Was not expecting that, guys. Oh, Nick has a Nick has a sick elbow drop off the top rope. He, you know, oh, geez. wow! Matches knocked the ones and zeros right out of him. Oh, I was trying to make a binary yeah, pun. Title, hold on to it a little stronger. Yeah, because he is just getting ripped into. Right now he is truly standing alone, does not have his brothers with him tonight. All banned from ringside. Matt's going in for a pin on the champion to kick out right away. No controversy with foot on rope. No weapons. No disqualification. 
everyone needs to get pinned. Speaking of... Just, I just think they're responsible, Nick. Well, irresponsible is my middle name. Here, dangerous sounding. The way I see it, Mr. Nova, is if we don't put in rules, then we can't be liable for anything. Big kick to the face. Enzo's down. Kick out at one. Ooh, that tall boy of beer went straight down, guys. Straight down. Look, Matt just trying to pull it together. Elbow right to the top of his head. Oh, boy, he's got a stick. And it's stolen from him. Inverted his penis. Oh, Jesus, that's just terrible. <laughs> Oh, that was a nice crush to the shot. Pretty sure that penis got inverted pretty badly. I hope he has uh, AI insurance, Nick. Someone call the, the ITMD. ITMD? <laughs> Love it. So bad. Right, I, got, I got one more. Okay. His motherboard felt bad. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> Into the corner. <laughs> Not having some trouble with Nick there. <laughs> Enzo going back under the ring, trying to find something. Oh, battling it out for that bat. Matt trying to take a swing. Oh, and he got it. Nope. Again? Oh, jeez. Oh, kick oh, right to the head! It was an epic tug of war for that bat, and then he's just like, nah, fuck it, throw it on the ground. <laughs> it's not he worth threw it. Throw it on the ground. <laughs> Matt with the chair oh, in man, hand. He's getting the chair. No! He hit him so oh, hard, Jesus. he dropped the chair. That was a cheap shot from the back. The oh! Shot's real cheap from that boy. Shin kick. I feel like, uh, Oh, is, could this be it? Enzo, oh, oh, right. Enzo is eliminated. Oh, I can't believe he's the first. He wasn't given an opportunity to even breathe. I got to give it to Enzo, though. I mean, there are a lot of cheap shots going on tonight. They really? Kind of like a night out at Fulfone Electric. <laughs> the shots are cheap. Shots are cheap and the beer is terrible. And the bouncers are mean. Speaking of bouncers being mean, Mike has Nick up with a big slam onto. Oh! Nick reversed it, going up on top. Could he hit him with an elbow drop? I think so. He's not letting go of this title easily, Nick. Well, seems like he changed his mind. More weapons about to come out. We that, got the kendo stick. Another kendo stick. He's about to lay down the kendo oh, stick. Oh, here it is. Elbow drop onto oh. Matt Smith. Simon's going to go and get that pin after that brutal elbow drop. Two, Two kick. Two. No dice. Kick out at two. Demon flip. Oh. oh, Matt picks him up. Worship by Matt. Oh, oh and we're Nick back to back three. And Matt just asserting his dominance. If there's a head, oh he'll toss it. Or hit it with a kendo stick. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, that kendo stick seems to have revived Nick like fucking like Wingardium Leviosa in his bitch. It's not Leviosa, it's Leviosa. Leviosa. Actually, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong right now. Matt rolling to the outside. Oh! Exploder suplex right into the corner. Going in for a pin. 
Two. Three. Oh. Here's Matt's chance. Could this be the night where no one questions Nick Brasso as champion anymore? I don't know. I mean, he is fighting tooth and nail to keep it. No! He's about to destroy Matt's face. Dirty deeds onto Matt Smith. We've seen dirty deeds done by Marshall. Three. No! I thought that was over. These are being done dirt cheap tonight, Nick. They really are. When I was younger, I used to think that was Dirty Deeds Thunder Cheap. That's because, you know, lyrics, right? Slam onto the kendo stick. Nick and Matt are in it right now to win it. Oh, God. He just dabbed his eye out. Matt's not having it. I smell a crotch to the shot coming. Oh. Oh, geez. And his leg just tangled in that rope. We're going to have to get new ropes. We, we need How a new everything. That those ropes cost us. 750. Bitcoin? Or yeah, I think Bitcoin? we... I, no, no. I think we got ripped off. I mean, we paid $6,000 for the tables. Oh! Super follow-away slam landing onto the kendo stick from the corner. Kick to the midsection. Uh, Again on the kendo stick? Onto the oh. bat and stick. That is one strong stick. No, that's what she said. Somebody's been watching The Office. Matt has Nick up and down onto the baseball bat again. Just dribbling him like a basketball. Nick is in trouble here. Matt's got him in the arm lock. Oh, punch to the liver. Now punch to the pancreas and the kidneys. I, I think Nick was in trouble when the bell rang. But yeah, I'm telling you, he's, he's keeping up. He really is. Look at that. Reverse DDT. Oh. Matt's not having it. Trying again. No, still can't. I don't know, guys. I think my boy Matt's walking away with this one. By the looks of it. He's got him up. Well, Matt was my second pick, so I'm hoping so. At I, the same time, I really want him to come up to Canada. And he said he'd only do that if he lost. Uh, two. Kicks yeah, out at two. two. Kicks out at two. He has to keep it. You don't want to let that belt go. Oh! Got him by the back of the head. Wow! Oh, oh. A backwards choke slam. Two. It. And there it is. We have a new champion. Bonehawk. You don't fuck with the name like Bonehawk, guys. Wow, what a matchup this was tonight. I mean, any of these four, com any of these four competitors could have honestly picked up the winner, the win tonight. Nick put on quite the defense, but look at, let's look at. The, I've never seen this move from Matt before. We saw Nick kick out of that Iron Mountain. Wow, what a, what a you have it, massive finish. Uh, I'm telling you, I had a feeling. Well, congratulations, Matt, and thank you, Mr. Nova, for joining us on this uh, on this matchup. Always a pleasure. And if uh, remember, everyone, you can uh, catch more of uh, Mr. Nova and I on uh, our YouTube matches. Just go to YouTube.com and check out CRW Canadian Rock Wrestling. Until next time, we'll see. We'll see you next time with together. But we got another match coming up next. Battle Podcast Deuce. That's right. And not the uh, smelly kind of deuce. 
it's uh, the good kind of deuce. You know, the kind where the sequels are really awesome and, like, you know, you don't regret watching them. That's the kind of deuce we're talking about. We wait, ha- wait, which sequels? There's, there's a sequel that's better uh, that you don't regret watching? Whoa. Examples! <laughs> well, Godfather 2 is uh, uh, pretty good. Okay. okay. Uh, Friday the 13th Part no, 2 no, is no, pretty no, good. No, no, no. no. What? <laughs> you got one. You got one. Okay, are you going to sit here and tell me that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2's note is not that great? No, it was good. You regret yeah, watching okay. the... Okay, that one, that. No, that one. That okay. One. Okay, so you got two. You Batman got two. Returns. You got two. Batman Returns. Well, that's the third one. No, that's the... Is it not? No, you're thinking of the Dark Knight Rises. No. Re- Returns has the penguin and... That's number two. Mm-hmm. That's number two. I'm 100% sure. I had to go pee. But now the next match is starting. Battle Podcast 2. <laughs> Wait. Here we go. Ryan Stick making his way out with his Halloween Havoc jacket. Being dirty as of late. Partnered up with Stranger Radio. Let's see what him and Steve can bring tonight. There's just something about fireworks that I love so much. So did you uh did you confirm? Was I right? Oh no, I, I left it for a second. I'm very confused here. For some reason I always thought that was the third one. Nah, the third one is... I think because the three of them... I think because the three on the cover, like Catwoman, Penguin, and Batman on the cover, I think as a kid, I always just thought it was the third one. That, that makes sense. I would but get yeah, confused I can't think that. of a second that... Man. <laughs> And here are their opponents for the night. Chris Swinney of that one time on tour got to choose his partner. And he wanted Rody Walker. Here he is. You know, Chris lost the the last battle podcast, but technically, he was never pinned to Lucci, so he may have got the L, but he didn't technically lose. So he was really eager to get back into the ring tonight, get battle podcast two going. He has a vicious pop up uppercut, so I want to see that again tonight. See what Rody's gonna bring. Oh, see if he's still as lively and jumpy as he was the last time I saw him, which I think was like over a decade ago. 
Well, their 2020 album, which is what we're listening to right now, is absolutely killer. Did you know that he uh, he actually can cause walls to collapse with his voice? <laughs> that's, that's that's true. That's that's fact. And we're off. Battle Broadcast 2 is on its way. Tag team matchup. First pin will win. Caught up with Chris and Rody earlier today. And they said if there was going to be no weapons in this match, there was going to be no way they were going to be able to do it. They want to be able to give... To, to show the full extent of their strength and power by using these weapons in an extreme rules match. Oh, and Rhodey going after Powder, going after Ryan Stick with the with the chair immediately. Each side has a weapon now. Oh, he even taken to him by the two. Brody picking up his candlestick and using it against him. Well, we saw that kendo stick get used earlier in the previous matchup. Falling right on his head. Kick to the midsection. Don't worry, folks. We have someone sanitize all weapons in between matches. Crossing into the corner. Chris with some right hands. And a big uppercut eating it, though. Knocking Steven out of the ring. Going back to work on Ryan. Aw, Rhodey. Just because you're near a table doesn't mean you got to use the table. No, he just likes destroying things. Butterfly suplex. One. Oh, Steven's got Rody. Now our table too. Chris goes in for a pin. One, two, kick oh, out. And Steven, I gotta say, I expect that kind of stuff from Theo, but not from you, buddy. Not from you. Oh, busted wide open. And now Stick has been hit with the stick. I've always wanted to use that line. Fight in the corner. Looks like Ryan's gonna try to set up for the powder bomb. Nope. Kick to the face, reversal. Oh, Chris has Steve up and reversal by Steven.
face planted down, tossed by Chris. Leg drop right to the face. And Zaguri in the middle of the ring by Ryan onto Rhodey. Chris is setting up on the outside though. Busting slam. Look at this corkscrew. That doesn't look good from any angle. No angle at all can save that. Ryan going on pure adrenaline right there with a reverse DDT. Oh, he's got a pile driver. We all know he uses that to set up before a powder bomb. Not today, he says. Not today. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Where is that from? Not today, Satan. 